Mittens and More uh, started as our community service drive in 2008. And it began because I was doing workshops, and one of the uh, workshops I did at a school in West Dallas, actually, um, I had a discussion with the teacher, and she was lamenting the fact that so many of the children uh, were coming to school, and it was winter time, without any mittens, hats, gloves, and scarves. And she said that the teachers had been taking their own money to buy these things for the children. I thought, well, you know, teachers shouldn't have to do that. We could do that. And so from that point on, we started working on organization of Mittens and More. Mittens and More starts collecting October 8th through the 26th, and distribution happens in early November. Darlene explains just exactly where these mittens go. Uh, the mittens, uh, hats, gloves, and scarves that we receive um, go to selected agencies. There are 36 agencies that receive these donated items and they are responsible for selecting the families and the people who are most in need of those items. They, uh, people who receive them do not have to pay anything, but we just thought that that was a good way to distribute them to make sure they get to the right people. And these people are very thankful for what they receive. We get the most wonderful letters, not only from those who receive the mittens and other items, but also um, from those who donate. Uh, there was a lady who had uh, wanted to know where she could send her donation this year because she mails hers in. And so I told her and then I said, and what's your name? Because we'd like to thank you on air and we would like to send you certificates and things like that. She said, oh, no, 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 I don't want anything like that. She said, I think the best gift is the one that you give to a stranger and the stranger never knows who receives it. If you have mittens that you would like to donate, there are a few places you can drop them off. We have some drop-off sites which people can access by going to the website at mptv.org and then click on Kids and Family. Um, and we have, um, we have MATC, obviously, participating all the campuses. And we have um, the auction site available for drop-off. We have Country Springs Hotels um, in Pewaukee and also Copacetic, which has two locations in Racine and Waukesha. So we, we do have different sites available and people who are very enthusiastic and, and very helpful. If you would like to make your own mittens that you can donate, MPTV has a template on their website for you to use. We have directions on how to make polar fleece mittens, not only step by step, but we also have how you lay out the pattern and then the pattern itself. So people who would like to take this on as a project for a Girl Scout troop, for instance, or 4-H, and we do have a lot of 4-H and Girl Scout groups that participate, this would be a fun way to get the, the children involved. Students around campus are already planning on donating this year. I think this is really great that MPTV is giving the opportunity to donate, so I'm more than excited to donate. I donated last year and I'm getting ready to donate this year. Well, Mittens and More is such a wonderful event, I think, for both givers and receivers because we are all, at one time or another in our lives, givers and receivers. We get so many wonderful things from the community to public television. The Mittens and More campaign is just a way that we can give back to that same community who's been so generous to us.